Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I am going to reveal the most underrated and most important piece of equipment that this channel runs on and most of you probably don't even notice that you're looking at it half the time. So I'm not talking about the Sinted Burrs, I use them pretty much in every video but every now and then I might be able to skip them and just go with Nova Points. So these aren't it, Nova Points. Large and small, fantastic tools, couldn't live without them. But they're still not it. Serum Oxide, the polish of choice for me, that's still not it. But if I zoom out this camera just a tiny bit, here he is, the most important part of the channel. This simple piece of plastic is by far the most important part of my channels. You can see here, I haven't even washed it since the last video. If I put it down like this, you'll see what it is. So just a standard, I think it was sold as a biscuit container. So it's just a big plastic container. I've cut the bottom out of it. And just here was the hinge that held the lid on. Just had a up and down lid. Cut that off. And then I've also put a hole in here in case I want a uh, drip of water. So for a lot of my videos, whenever I'm recording any kind of carving or anything anything that, that involves water, all I do is record with my phone camera, and this is an old Samsung S7, nothing fancy. And I just put that there, because the water's spraying up, you can see where all of the splatters ended up. These are really great, even if you're not recording, I highly advise that you use something like this, because it will keep your work area quite neat and tidy. Mine's not overly neat and tidy, but at least it's not covered in any kind of opal dust or anything. This simple piece of plastic keeps my phone protected, Let's me do a really nice recording of the top and you can zoom in and everything. But lately, this is a, probably about a year overdue, the quality is starting to get a little bit foggy. Yes, my phone is also dying, but because of this being plastic, if we look a little bit closer, see how it's all scratched and scuffed? This literally just happens when I'm washing and drying this. Even a soft cloth will end up leading to all of these scratches. I don't care about the bottom so much, which is really scratched, but the top is what's important, and it's starting to make the video quality go a bit cloudy. So for personal use, this isn't too bad, but I do need to upgrade. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to have to say goodbye to this little container. It was only a couple dollars. And instead, we are going to this. It's a little bit bigger, but this is an old fish tank. So you could get this in glass. I've got it in plastic. Glass, I feel like there's a chance that I might I might break it, it might shatter. Whereas this is nice and protective, nice and big, really cheap, not overly heavy. And all I've got to do is cut out this bottom part here. Now, if I've learned anything from my first one, it's that I don't need to cut right up to the outer borders. Though it's nice to have a lot of space, you really don't move your hands around that much, or the rotary tool around that much, I could get away with just cutting a window out of the side. Because every now and then the splatter will actually come out this side and then it goes towards my laptop which is over that way, the lights which are just that way, or just any of the random stuff that I've got lying around over here. I think I'll cut a little bit in from the border and I will use a Dremel to do this and just a Dremel saw blade and just basically it doesn't really cut, it really just melts through the plastic. So we're going to cut a window in that. And then that's really just about it. The top's already open. The sides are fairly clean. There is a little bit of silicon around the edges over here, which I'm not overly worried about. It'll be good to have it a bit waterproof as well because every now and then all the splatter that goes up against the top or, well, the top, the front or the back, all of that just pulls in the bottom. And every now and then I do have a problem where I almost spill the water over the laptop by tilting it and it just runs straight off the edge. So to avoid that, not cutting all the way to the bottom is going to be good and leaving all of this plastic plastic border on it is also going to be a fantastic upgrade. So I'm just going to get those tools ready and then show you what's next. Alright, so not the perfect tool for this, but I'm just going to use these little cutoff wheels. I've got heaps of them. They're really not much use for me. They're typically meant for metal, but we'll just melt plastic with them. It is going to create a few shards, and I do worry about these things breaking every now and then, so safety glasses are certainly needed. And all we're going to do 
power it up and then I'm just going to cut through the plastic say about about there and then all the way around we'll cut a little window out and should be able to test out the new the new little shelter so let's see how it goes and through the magic of editing we are in the future where I have now cut a hole in the bottom but I love DIY because this did not go anything like I had planned. All I was going to do is cut a window out of this section and you can see here that I've smashed through the entire thing. And I say smash because even though I was given this and I was under the impression it was plastic, checking it further, it's glass. It was actually glass. So how did I do it? Scrapped the Dremel, went straight for a hammer and just smashed out the bottom. So now I've got the full bottom exposed so it'll be the similar it'll be similar to last one it's still got this edge all the way around so i can still trap the water you can see that it's all siliconed as well so it's fairly waterproof but yeah i really just didn't look at it all that much i checked the uh black part that's definitely plastic but this is actually glass so i was a little worried at first that that would mean that it's prone to shattering but taking out the bottom, I had to hit it incredibly hard with a hammer. So I'm not overly worried about that. And glass is actually good because I can repolish glass much easier than plastic. I've got everything. It's just like polishing opal and I've got plenty of cerium oxide that can do it. So I can easily buff this back out. And you can see that even like this, I could actually carve with my good camera now and not need to use my mobile at all. This has actually got such nice clarity in the glass and the camera does a good job focusing either above like that or below like this so i think this will be a, a huge improvement and it was needed anyway my other ones are my other one's been trashed it's been going for two years strong or something now so this is a much needed upgrade and yeah it can focus on anything on the top and on the bottom absolutely wonderful and i can Fit my little container in here, fill that with water, chuck the apples in it, and we are good to go. Replace the most important piece of the YouTube channel, really. Without my previous plastic one, I would not have been able to record like I was doing. And now we've got an upgrade. Bigger, clearer, better. All around, I'm excited to jump in and use it, so I'll leave you there. And it's back to carving, so I can actually test this thing out and give it a whirl. You'll see that in the next video. Catch ya.